Hi everyone, I'm Melissa with Midnight Hour Oil, and today I just wanted to share a couple dreams with you that I think uh, will encourage you. This morning I received uh, an interesting text from Rhonda Empson. I know she already uploaded a video uh, and talked a little bit about that, but um, she she asked me if I had a dream, and uh, I thought, hmm, and I thought that was odd, but uh, the reality is I had had a dream that I had written down. Now I have. I have a lot of dreams, but I don't always write them down, and um, and this one I I actually had written down, and so I shared the dream with Rhonda, and um, you know I wouldn't have even really looked at this dream probably for quite a while and tried to unpack it, but uh, so Rhonda and I began to unpack that dream this morning, and so as as we were working on this, talking about it. Um, some things came to mind, and then uh, I thought, "Wow, this is a really, a really encouraging message." So I wanted to share it with you all. Um, okay, so the first part of the dream I had, my son uh, Joshua and his girlfriend Savannah were in our home, and they were like in the kitchen, and and a fire broke out like on the table and then on the wall or something, and so I just went to our closet where the fire extinguisher is and I began rummaging through all of this stuff trying to find the fire extinguisher and I finally found it and I I put the fires out okay now I believe that part of the dream is symbolic of a lot of the um, the warfare right now going on within our families you know we have uh, we have family members coming against family members a lot in in our own homes all right and uh, it, it actually is a sign of the end times, Jesus said, you know, that that a man's enemies would be in his own home. And many of you may be able to attest to this, families coming against us. But this is how the enemy's working right now, to really come against the body of Christ, get us off track, distract us. But that is why it's so important for us to remember who we are in Christ, okay? And to um, to be ready with that extinguisher to put those fiery darts out, all right? And, uh, and just ensure that we do not allow the enemy to take any ground in our lives, but use that authority in Christ that we have, uh, bind the enemy and, and bring um, all of those, those things he's trying to do under our feet in Jesus' name, okay? So I think that's what that first part is about. Now the second part of the dream, I was actually walking through a really long, dark, tunnel, all right, and it looked like one of those tunnels that the trains go through, okay, and so as I'm nearing the end of this tunnel, it's getting darker and darker and darker, and I know that a storm is coming, and so immediately I'm like, I have to find my, my vehicle, and I was sure that it was there at the end of the tunnel, and then I'm looking for it and looking for it, and suddenly I remember, oh no, it's at the beginning of the tunnel. So I turn around and go back and I find this shortcut and I end up being able to quickly get back to the beginning of the tunnel and, and find my vehicle before the storm hits. All right, so I believe I believe that that symbolizes a couple different things actually. All right, so in Ecclesiastes 1.9, Solomon said, what has been will be again and what has been done will be done again. There's nothing new under the sun. All right, so... I believe that what we're seeing today uh, is the same things that Noah saw in his day and Abraham saw in Lot's day in Sodom and Gomorrah. We're seeing that today, okay? That is a sign of the times that we are in. And so um, I, I think that's what that sim one part of what that symbolized going back uh, to the beginning, all right? Now, the other thing is in Revelation 21, verses 6 through 7, Okay, Jesus said this, it is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Okay, and then in uh, Revelation 22, 12 through 14, Jesus said this, and behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. All right. So I believe that tunnel also symbolizes, um, you know, our walk in Christ. He is our beginning. He is our end. 
But the interesting part about that, um, that dream is I needed to go back to the beginning, all right? That's where my ministry was at. That's where my vehicle was at. And so I want to encourage you. All right, this is a little bit. I want to encourage you to do the things you did at first. Revelation 2.5 tells us, do the things you did at first. Okay, so when we first give our lives to the Lord and we first believe, a lot of times, I mean, we have a lot more momentum. Uh, you know, our our hearts are just on fire. It's, it's sometimes different than maybe where we're at right now. But I think it's important for us to go back to that place with the Lord where we were and remember, um, you know, the things that we did at the beginning of our walk with the Lord. Because uh, I, I believe, you know, that that is probably uh, the best place uh, where we have served the Lord is is at the beginning of our walk with him. So anyway, um, I think that's what those dreams mean. And if you happen to have any thoughts on them, please feel free to share in the comments below. And as always, it is my prayer that we will all continue to keep our lamps burning bright while we wait for Jesus. I love you all. God bless you.